Hello everyone, in this video I will show you how we can use the analog input probe function on master tool, which is basically a function that can allow the user to expand the analog inputs from Nexo Express up to 10 analog inputs. So this is possible by working simultaneously with the current and the voltage pins for the same analog input. So here we have AI0.i, which is our current pin for a, an, our analog input AI0 and we have the AI0.V which is our pin for instruments that can generate a voltage to us like 0 to 10 voltage. So for this example we will be using our analog outputs as our signal generators so our analog outputs will be directly connected to our analog inputs as shown in this image. So I have my first analog output AO0 connected to my AI0.i. So this will be my current generator. And my second analog output, my AO1, is connected directly to my AI0.v. I'm using my AI0 for both my analog inputs, but one is for voltage and one is for current. Right, so the first thing you have to do is to install our library which contains the analog input probe function. So in the next website, there is a tutorial of how to use the analog input probe function and you can download the library on the page. So scroll down the page and you can download the analog input library. Once you download it, we now have to install this library on master tool. So you go to the tools menu, library repository, and we click on the install button. And now you can find the libintegrated.xt.compiled library, which is our file, uh, which contains the compiled library and contains our analog input probe function. So click on it and open this file so it will install. I already have this library installed on my master tool so I will not do it again. I'll just cancel. Okay, once you install this library on master tool, now we have to add this file, this library to our project. We do this by going the library manager option and adding this library. Now we can look for this library, just writing lib integrated IO EXT. So select this library and click OK. I already have this uh, library added to my project. So now we can call the, the function analog input pro. And we have to do this uh, in the start PRG. So we go to the start PRG. It's a, a letter program. I will select a empty box from my toolbox. So I go to the toolbox and select my box with enable and enable output. I will drag and drop on our first network. And I will just call my function analog input probe. So the input number of this function uh, is the number of the analog input pins that we are currently using. As I said before, we are using the AI0 pins for this video. So the input number is zero. If you if you were using the AI1, the input number would be one. Input number is uh, the type of the instrument that is connected on that pin, if it is voltage or current mode. So we have to call by the struct analog input mode dot. In this case, will be voltage zero to 10 volts. Select that. If you're going to use a filter 
on this analog input, we can select here. So I will call the struct analog input filter dot. I will select a one second filter. And this probe variable is a pointer to an integer. So we have to first declare a variable which will receive uh, or zero to 3000, that is the value of the analog inputs on X Express. So if it's zero volts, the value of the variable is zero. If it's 10 volts, the value of the variable is 3000. So I'll just call this analog input zero. It's an inch, so double point inch. And now I can pass the address of the analog input zero variable for this parameter. So to do this, I use the function address G from address ADR. And I will say that I'm passing the address of the analog input zero. And this last parameter, we don't have to use this. So I will just delete it. Now, if I can compile, I can build this code. So I can go to build and generate code. Okay. Now I will select how my uh, analog output uh, will work if they are going to generate a voltage or a current. So I go to the integrated IO menu, analog output, and my analog output AO0 will be generated uh, 4 to 20 milliamps on my AI0.i pin and my, and my second analog output will be generating a voltage 0 to 10 VDC which I will be receiving uh, in this variable in the analog input 0, right? And now I have to configure the pin AI0, uh, which will I'll be using in the current mode. So it will be a, a standard analog out input on master two. So select my analog input AI0 as a four to 20 milliamps, and I will select uh, a one second filter two. So doing this, I can map my PLC and download the program. My PLC needs to be in the run mode. So how I'm going to do this? As I connect directly my AO, my analog outputs in my analog inputs, I have to write values in my analog outputs in order to read the values in analog inputs. So I go to the integrated IO GVL and here I can write values in my AO0 and my AO1. So AO0 is my 4 to 20 milliamps generator and my AO1 is my 0 to 10 VDC generator. So now I'm going to write 30,000 on my AO0 which is like 20 milliamps that I will be uh, adding to my analog inputs AI0. So write the value. And now you can see that I can receive the value in my AI0.i pin. So it's the same value. So it's currently, currently reading 20 milliamps on my AI0 uh, pin. And now, if I write the same value, 30,000, now I have 10 volts on my analog output and my analog output AO1 is connected to my AI0.V pin. So if I go back to the start PRG, I see that I have the value 30,000 on my analog input zero variable.
So I can do this for the other analog inputs and this I can confirm the function of my analog input probe function.